National Environment Engineering Research Institute, NIRI, is one of the 38 laboratories under Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, CSIR. CSIR has 38 laboratories dedicated to a variety of scientific and technological topics. But NIRI is one of the laboratories totally dedicated to environment protection. In this project, we are addressing an hazardous waste containing arsenic. Arsenic bearing solution was used in Zuari Industries in their urea manufacture to absorb carbon dioxide. But when they switched over to more environment friendly technology known as Benfield process, they didn't know how to get rid of this 10% bearing arsenic solution. And they have been storing it in a secured tank for about three decades. Our team led by Dr. Tapan Chakrabarti and his fellow colleagues worked on this. They developed a protocol for solidification. They tested the protocol using standard techniques like TCLP as per US EPA and ASTM. And based on the laboratory protocol, they converted into a large scale implementable process. And this was implemented by Zuari under the total supervision of NIRI. Zuari is extremely happy with that uh, job. Now, the Supreme Court Monetary Committee also has given us a, a kind of appreciation that this has been job well done by NIRI. Zuari Industries Limited manufactures ammonia, urea and mixed fertilizers at their Goa unit. During the changeover of the process from GV technology to Benfield technology, in the year 1975, the industry generated liquid and solid wastes containing very high concentration of arsenic. Besides these, the industry was also storing spent catalysts containing hexavalent chromium for the last few years. The solid and liquid wastes were stored in specially fabricated steel tanks with proper dike wall and other containment methods. A high power Supreme Court monitoring committee on hazardous wastes visited Zuari Industries in June 2004 and directed the industry for immediate treatment and disposal of these wastes in an environmentally safe manner. Since there is no common facility for treatment, storage and disposal of hazardous waste in the state of Goa, the committee directed the industry to dispose of these wastes within the premises of the industry. The Supreme Court Monitoring Committee wanted the waste to be stabilized in an environmentally friendly manner. Zuari Industries requested NIRI to take over the challenge and NIRI started working on the immobilization and solidification of 10% arsenic bearing solution, volume of which was 250 cubic meter. Keeping in view the expertise available with National Environmental Engineering Research Institute, Nagpur, in dealing with such wastes, Zuari Industries retained NIRI in July 2004 to suggest a suitable mechanism for safe and scientific disposal of these wastes. Studies were undertaken by NIRI which included inventorization of wastes, waste characterization, laboratory scale solidification stabilization studies, pilot scale solidification stabilization studies and a full scale solidification stabilization of these wastes. The studies also included the selection and assessment of a site for development of a containment facility for safe disposal of solidified stabilized waste. During the reconnaissance survey, the industry informed about a storage of around 250 meter cubes of liquid arsenic, that is the spent GV solution, around 50 metric tons of solid arsenic waste and around 26 metric ton of spent HT catalyst containing hexavalent chromium. The approach followed in uh, development of this technology include the characterization of waste, then uh, state of art review on various chemicals and uh, binders required for solidification stabilization and then a detailed laboratory study in which doses of various ingredients used for uh, solidification and stabilization were optimized. Laboratory studies on solidification stabilization of the arsenic and chromium were carried out by NIRI to arrive at optimum proportions of wastes, stabilizers and binders. 
Laboratory studies on characterization revealed that the arsenic content in the waste was about 10 percent, which was the arsenic was in uh, trivalent as well as pentavalent form. First of all, trivalent arsenic was converted into pentavalent and then it was converted into the complexes of calcium and ferric. So calcium arsenate and ferric arsenate were formed which was encapsulated in cement. The solidified blocks prepared during these tests were subjected to unconfined compressive strength tests as well as toxicity characteristic leaching procedure test of United States Environmental Protection Agency. The solidified blocks prepared by Neri using optimum proportions of various ingredients conformed to both these tests. The solidified and stabilized waste though conformed to TCLP as well as uh, compressive strength standards, it was classified as hazardous waste as per the existing hazardous waste management rules. So it was necessary to dispose of this waste in the secure uh, containment system. A site for construction of containment tank was identified, evaluated and selected. It was recommended to contain the solidified stabilized wastes in a 20 cm thick reinforced concrete cement tank lined with high density polyethylene HTPE liner from bottoms, sides and top. The installation of liners and testing of geotextile and HTPE liner was carried out by Garware Wall Ropes Limited Puna in the second week of September 2004. The full scale solidification, stabilization and containment of arsenic and chromium bearing hazardous waste was carried out by the industry between September 2004 to November 2004 under the supervision of NIRI. The uniqueness in this project lies in commissioning a concrete cement mixer which was used in mixing the hazardous waste with the other matrices. After the completion of solidification, stabilization and containment operations, the containment tank was sealed from top by installing HTPE liner and casting a top RCC slab. A final layer of clay and the vegetative soil cover was placed on the containment tank. A series of lysimeters were installed all along the containment tank to monitor the performance of the containment system. Any hazardous waste disposal is a challenge and NIRI takes up such challenging assignments and we have done this for arsenic bearing solution. We are doing similar studies, very complicated, very challenging uh, uh, task and that the process developed and the protocol developed for this can be extended to other similar solutions and NIRI will be willing to take up such assignments.